Soludo calls on citizens to take advantage of free child cleft deformity treatment. Over 100 women in Omunze, Umweza Nam, Anambra West Council area receive food crops from Ministry of Women and Children Affairs. Inspector General of Police Al Kali Baba promotes over 31,000 policemen across Nigeria. A New Zealand police charges 48 year old man with five counts of murder. Before the news in details, there is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Anambra governor's wife, Mrs. Nonye Soludo, has encouraged everyone living in the state who has or knows any child with cleft deformity to bring them out for immediate treatment. The governor's wife who made the call in Orca said that for the fact that cleft deformities are very treatable, no child in Anambra state should be left to suffer from it or from the notorious stigma that comes with it. Mrs. Soludo explained that the partnership with Smile Train to treat anyone with cleft deformity in Anambra state free of charge is in the best interest of those with cleft problems, with the target being to bring the count of such deformities in the state to zero. She urged parents and families that children with cleft lips uh, or plates uh, any, or anyone that knows a child with such problem to refer them to Chukwemeka or Dume Gojuku University Teaching Hospital, Amako, Oka, or to the closest public health facility where they would be immediately taken in for free treatment. She also asked anyone who wishes to bring information about a person with a problem or issues relating to treatment to call the following numbers. 0906-322-7856 or 0813-417-7577 for quick attention. Mrs. Soludo further reassured the treatments for cleft lips and palates are totally free in Anambra State and encourage people to take advantage of such opportunity. The Anambra First Lady also commended Smile Train for the partnership, stressing that her husband's administration is always exploring best options for the well-being of all residents of the state. The Anambra State Government, through the Ministry of Women and Children Affairs in conjunction with the United Nations Children's Fund, have given food crops to various types of various types to 160 women in four villages in, of Umezanam, Anambra West local government area. The crops given to the women were rice seedlings, potato stems, groundnut, pepper, watermelon seeds, and cucumber. Chibuzo Okoye was there and now reports. Handing over the crops to the women, the Anambra State Commissioner for Women and Children Affairs, Mrs. Ifiodinaba said that it was a way to keep supporting those affected by the 2022 flood disaster. The state government wrote to UNICEF for support for all those affected by the last year's deluge and obliged, hence the distribution of the farm crops, and noted that UNICEF is equally supporting the state government in different other ways. Mrs. Ifiodinaba explained that the various supports Anambra State Government is receiving from development partners is as a result of their trust in the administration of governor Chukuma Saludo, which she said is prudent in the management of the state's scarce resources. According to the commissioner, they will also visit other communities in Anambra West, and that the exercise is designed to cover the seven local government areas that usually experience flooding in the state, and maintained that UNICEF has promised to bring the farm crops earlier next time. As a means of realization after work, Commissioner Obinabo revealed that they built four football go posts to volleyball courts among others in Umezanam for women to catch phone and urged them to ensure the safety of the gaming facilities. It's going to cover the seven local governments that normally experience uh, flooding. So we are thanking the UNICEF people and uh, not just the things we gave them for farming, these other things we gave them for outdoor and indoor exercise. They should 
own it up, you know, take care of it and make use of it. In their various remarks, Mezas, Teresa, and Ijobi, and Uzo Chukuche Mwoba appreciated the unembraced government and UNICEF for remembering them, even as they praised the doggedness of Mrs. Obinabo in ensuring that the crops were judiciously distributed. <laughs> Distribution of the crops and handing over of the sporting kits to the villagers climaxed the event. From Umezanam in Anambra West local government area, this is Tibu Zokoye for ABS News. All progressives going the Lions have got faithful have expressed happiness with the outcome of the just concluded 2023 national convention and election of new national executive members of the party, describing the election as credible and transparent. This was the reactions of some members of the party shortly after the convention held at the International Convention Center in Oka, which saw the emergence of Barrister Sylvester Ezo Kenwa from Anambra State as national chairman of the party, while Comrade Onyebuchi Eze from Ebony State emerged the national youth leader, among others. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Okonkwo, tells us more. Election of the new executive members of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, which was done through a voice vote, attracted delegates from the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. As officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, were present to observe the election. As staunch member and stakeholder of the party from Obo in Orumba North local government area, Chief Thank God, Ibe, while commending the leadership of Abga for organizing a hitch free convention, commended the immediate past national chairman of the party, Dr. Victoria, for repositioning the party and achieving much within the eight years of his leadership, asking the newly elected chairman and his team to do his step and make the party greater. He's a man of honor and integrity with transparency. We will miss him. We will miss him in the party. We need people like him more in this party. And I believe the new ESCOs, the new national chairman will, will do his full step and to take this party to the next level. Another member of the party and former national chairman, South South, Mr. Tony Eboka, expressed delight with the outcome of the 2023 national convention, saying that the election portrayed what APGA stands for, which, according to him, is brotherly love and unity. For the new national youth leader of the party, Comrade Deze, APGA is the solution to numerous challenges facing Nigeria, and as such, Nigerians should embrace the party as According to him, it is a party with the interest of the people at heart and promised to collaborate with the national chairman of the party to ensure that youths are carried along in the scheme of things. I see Abga as the only democratic party in Nigeria. Even from this convention, you will know that they are very, very democratic. And uh, what they believe in, federalism and uh, components of the uh, states, they believe in it, shows that they believe in democracy. So I think Abga is a party that's supposed to be in charge of this country. Earlier in his speech, the new Abga national chairman, Barrister Ezo Kenwa, thanked Abga faithful for finding him and his team worthy to serve and promised that his administration will take the party to an enviable height and solicited their support to enable him and his team achieve their mandate. We have duties to others and duties to ourselves and we can shape later. Abga is today on the rise to a new level of excellence. From International Convention Center in Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News. The traditional ruler of Oka community, Obi Gibson Mosu, has commended the people of Oka community, especially the youth, for their peaceful conduct during the just concluded Ebi Moka festival. Speaking in an interview with the ABS, Obi Mosu, who described Ebi Moka as one of the prominent cultural festivals in Oka community, designed to ensure the sustainability of the rich cultural heritage of Oka ancient kingdom. 
Obimosu said that plans are underway towards making Egwi Moka Festival a tourist attraction and condemned the activities of some non-indigents of Oka who are infiltrating the rich cultural heritage of Oka, thereby giving the community a bad reputation. The traditional rule of Oka community extolled the dexterity of some age grades and cultural proponents in Oka, the state capital, who worked towards making the 2023 Egwi Moka Festival remarkable and rewarding. Obimosu, who is a one-time vice chairman of Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council, commanded Governor Chukomasoludu for series of infrastructural development going on in Oka, the state capital, reassured him of the support of the people of Oka towards his administration. He cautioned youths of Oka extraction against act capable of retarding the spate of development in Oka, the state capital. All is now set for the third session of the Fifth Synod of the Anglican Diocese of Amici at St. Philip's Anglican Church, Eziama Amici, Newe South Council Area. The host church is now wearing a new look following renovation work, installation of infrastructures and other preparations in the church. The Bishop of the Diocese, Right Reverend Ephraim Ikako, accompanied by a host of clergy and the Synod Planning Committee, inspected some strategic areas, including different sections of the church, the refectory, among other places. Our staff reporter, Jideka Okoye, now completes the report. The Synod with the theme, Clearing the Identity Crisis, who is actually a Christian, will commence on 8th and end on 11th of this month and will draw its delegates from all the archdeaconries and churches in Amichi Diocese. Speaking in a press conference after the inspection, Bishop Ikako, who thanks God that Amichi Diocese is 15 years synodically, the Anglican prelate said that the Synod team will explain the identity crisis, who is actually a Christian and the, the true Christianity as there is need to address the matter so that church members and the society will come to terms saying that identity crisis means that the originality and clarity of a thing is in question and contaminated that you can no longer testify which is which. He said that a true Christian is known by the fruit he or she bears which includes fruit of righteousness, forgiveness, humility, having now encounter with Jesus Christ among others. Bishop Ikako who stated that Synod is also the period when a bishop gives scorecard of his stewardship within the Synod year, listed some of the achievements of the diocese within the year to include building and dedication of a three-story hostel for the Diocesan School of Nursing and Midwifery, installation of 100 kVA generator sets and solar power for the school, upgrading of the students' intake for the school, and as well, the National Board for Technical Education planned visit for the award of Higher National Diploma Program for the school in August this year. A true Christian is known by the fruit he or she bears. Fruit of righteousness, fruit of forgiveness. We the Christian is one who has intentionally purposefully and experientially encounter Jesus Christ as his or her personal Lord and Savior. Questions and answers featured during the press conference. From Amichi Njideka Okoye, ABS News. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali Baba, has promoted a total of 31,000 465 policemen comprising 24,991 officers from the t ranks of sergeants to inspectors, 194 from corporals to sergeants, and 6,280 from constables to corporals. The force headquarters said this was part of the IG's manpower development policy targeted at promoting deserving police officers on the basis of competence qualification and length of service. Al-Kali Baba also commended two assistant inspectors general of police 
on the conferment of national honors on them, the first public relations officer, Olumuyiwa Adejobi, made the development known in a statement released to newsmen. On the foreign scene, New Zealand police have charged a 48-year-old man with five counts of murder in relation to a deadly hostel fire. He had already been detained and charged with arson over the blaze in Wellington last month. Lofast Lodge, a four-story emergency housing hostel in the capital, burned down on 16th May, killing five people. The incident has renewed debate about New Zealand's housing crisis as the site had been home to members of vulnerable and marginalized groups. On sports news, a football transfer guru, Fabrizio Romano, has confirmed that Real Madrid attacking midfielder Marco Asensio will leave Los Blancos for a new club this summer. According to Romano, Asensio has already made his decision last week that he would leave Real Madrid. To, he disclosed this in a tweet via his Twitter handle, a morning. Asensio played 50 times for Real Madrid this season, but the 27 year old only started 18 times, scored um, eight, 12 goals, and contributed eight assists for Ancelot's uh, side. And with that sports news, we come to the end of the news. But remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. You can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Orca, on Twitter at ABS Radio TV, and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again. Anambra governor's wife, Dr. Saludo, has called on citizens to take advantage of free child cleft deformity treatment. Over 100 women in Umwezanam, Anambra West Council area, have received food crops from Ministry of Women and Children Affairs. Inspector General of Police, Alkali Baba, has promoted over 31,000 policemen across Nigeria. And from the foreign scene, we brought you a report that New Zealand police has charged 48-year-old man with five counts of murder. Governor Choko Masoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's continue to give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's Danizu. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tonya Mokoye. Good morning and happy weekend.